Amanda here from ScreenPeopleMummy.co.uk. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to make some cards on the hop. I like to sometimes just craft um, without really having too much of a plan other than choosing my um, DSP and my stamps. And today I'm going to use Strong is Strong and Beautiful, which has got some stunning, uplifting sentiments. And I've paired it with Beautiful You um, because I think you know it's all about. Um, Celebrating the females today, sorry to the males, but yeah, <laughs> a little bit of uplifting cards. I'm always, I need to have lots and lots of cards to hand, to send to my team, to send to friends, etc, etc. Now I'm using um, some DSP, and now I did send all of my customers in who shopped with me in April, they all got a 4x6 paper share of the Petal Promenade. Um, so this is, um, you know, a sheet of each um, cut to four by six, um, so that it was a good size for making cards. Um, now they will have to just trim them slightly because four by six is a little bit large for our um, UK standard size card bases, which are generally four and one eighth by five and. Seven eights? Yeah, <laughs> had to think then. Um, but they've got lots and lots to play with, uh, and this was in with their their gift. And I did promise that I would come on and share how I would use them. And so here I am. I'm a little bit late. I've been on holiday. I've had a busy, busy month. <laughs> um, so, but I'm here. So I've got my card bases and I have pre-scored and pre-folded those, they're all exactly the same. So I can choose the DSPs that I want to use very quickly, just choose four. So one, I'll just use four different ones, I like that one. Two, that one's a bit plainer. Okay, I'll have that one. Three and four, I'm having all floral. So, what I can do now is I can trim these to size. So, if I trim these to four, I think they're already cut at four, yes, four by five and three quarters, then, and I'm going to cut two at once by five and three quarters, then they are just the right size to just straight away layer onto my card bases. Let me just check I've got that right, I believe so. Yeah, I've cut them right, so four by five and three quarters, and we are good to go. Um, I think it's Kylie over in Australia who has been doing her Love It Chop It, um, where she's been encouraging everybody to basically pre-cut all of their DSP up into card front sizes, which I think is a lovely idea, and that did inspire me to send pre-cut um, DSP out to my customers just to make their card making easier and then it's good to go isn't it and all you've got to do is literally attach your DSP to your card stock I think it's a lovely lovely idea just make sure you keep hold of some for other projects or buy one pack to cut up for your cards and one pack for other things and then all you've got to do is very quickly Layer those on. Okay, try and get it straight, Amanda. Um, as I always say, if you're not overconfident at getting it straight, use wet glue. There we go. One. <laughs> so easy. It's a brilliant idea to have them already cut up and ready to go. I'm going to be doing this with all of the DSP that I have in my stash left over now. Between now and the start of the new catalogue, I'm going to endeavour to use every single scrap of DSP in this way um, so that it's not wasted too. And then I can make room for all the new yummy stuff coming out in June. But we've still got a full month to go. So if this is one of the DSPs that you like, which I do, I would advise getting yourself an extra pack because, you know, come June, it's it's gone. 
we are getting all new I will I I have got a pack of this which I have saved and I might just order another because it is one of my all-time favorites doesn't really matter which way up it goes it doesn't really matter what color um, cardstock you put it on it, it's it's very versatile I love it and I've not stuck that on terribly straight let me see if I can get that off I can't I'm not going to worry about it it doesn't matter so I've got my four cards super quick and super easy um, so let's make some sentiments okay doke I'm just going to reach over and just gently close my blind because I feel like the lighting is just a little bit bright that's better <laughs> I'll just take you with me on my journey <laughs> so I've just got two pieces of cardstock and this is all I'm going to use um, with my um, four cards I'm going to use sections of this so I've got whisper white and I've got petal uh, is it petal pink I think so might be blushing bright I don't know <laughs> I didn't think to look but I will list everything that I've used over on my blog at scrimpymummy.co.uk. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to just cut this DSP. Where's my phone? I do apologise, my phone's just binging. Turn it off. I'm going to just trim it first because I don't want to and then I can save some. So if I trim this to five and seven eighths I'm a little bit frugal with my card. I'll save that for a card base and then I'll ration myself to using that and then I'm not wasting. I'll do the same with this one. Otherwise, I find that I end up punching in a long line and then the cardstock it, it ends up getting wasted. So I'll trim it down before we use it. Right, so let's have a look for our first card. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my Starburst Punch first of all. I love it. It just gives you a really perfect small increment border to if you use it in combination with the two inch. Um, so let's decide. I think I'm going to have this one. You have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. It's, uh, how lovely. Who wouldn't love to get that? Um, let me just grab. Just grab a wipe. I do sometimes use wipes to clean my stamps. I just make sure that they're the ones that are not going to do any damage to. But I've used them for years and they're fine. Not going to do any harm. Okay, so I'm going to use. Um, yeah, I'm going to use Blushing Bride and we're going to quickly stamp that, it's upside down, doesn't matter if I get it straight because I'm going to punch it out, okay there we go with my two inch punch and I can just quickly and easily punch that out, bob that to one side, grab my dimensionals Press in the middle to lift the paper up. It's the easiest way I've found of doing it. Layer that on my starburst punch shape. And you've just got that lovely, just a little tiny hint of colour around the edge there. It's a perfect match made in heaven. Starburst punch and the two inch circle punch. They go together perfect. Um, two. I'm going to put the third one back and I'm going to be frugal. Two is plenty. Okay. And there we go. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to pop it in the centre there. And I think that's lovely. And that's our first card done. And that's all you need um, because that paper is so beautiful. You don't need to cover it with loads of things. So let's bob that to one side and let's do another one. So I'm going to move this stamp. Just give it a clean, put it back in my box so we don't lose it. 
Okay, and let's have a look at what we're going to use next. Um, I really want to be using my punches. I love them. And this is my new one whose name I've forgotten. And I'm going to use that. And I'm going to have... Um, which one will fit? Let's have a look. Um, will that one fit? To the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. Just It will just fit. So we'll have that one. And that is from Strong and Beautiful. Okay. Now, if you're one of my customers and you're watching and you've got this um, DSP share, um, you can use whatever sentiment you want. Um, I'm using what I what I love in my in my um, collection, which is the beautiful you and the strong and beautiful. But you can use whatever you want, and that is another advantage to making this type of very simple card um, and letting your DSP do all the work for you. Don't ever be afraid to cut into DSP and think, you know, oh, it's too pretty. I don't want to cut into it. Just cut into it. It's there to be used, um, you know, and that is the whole purpose of it, is to be used and to make your craft projects look pretty. Okay, so that's that one done. And I'm going to actually just put that one just straight on dimensionals without any further layering because the paper it's going on is just beautiful doesn't need any more doesn't need anything else and I'm just going to pop it there in the bottom corner there we go and that's card two okay let me just close this blind as well <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the light from being really bright today I think that's helped right so let's get on with cards three and four let's have a look um, what else? Ooh, I like that one. Life may not be the dance. Life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we may as well dance. Is it that one? I think so. And let's see. Um, what colour we can stamp that in. I've just brought a few colours to the table um, because... Sometimes I think you just want to keep it simple, don't you? You don't want to overcomplicate things. Um, and then you can make heaps of cards to go then. I'll just stamp over there ever so slightly because I'm not sure which, which punch is going to fit it. Is it going to fit in that one? Ooh, it's not going to fit in that one. So let's have the circle punch again. There we go, I know that's going to fit. This is the two inch circle punch. Fits like a dream. Okay, okay. And let's get our starburst punch. And use our card again. I'm going to punch as close to the last one as I can. To make sure that I'm being frugal with my card stock. And all we have to do then is layer that up. And that is card three. There we go. I really, it, it's really beneficial to do this. A couple of times a week I do this. I just sit and make lots of basic cards. Um, because, you know, I do send out a lot. I've got my Stamping for All Facebook group. We do our smiles in the mail where we send cards out. So some of these will get sent out. Um, and I'm getting back into it. <laughs> After being on holiday. I do kind of wish I was still there. I'm not even going to joke. Um, we had a lovely time. We went and visited St Martin, which I was relieved to see had recovered from the hurricanes from last year, um, which devastated it about two weeks after we went last year. Um, so I was absolutely relieved to see that it had recovered um, because it is a beautiful place. So this one now, right, we're on our, we're on our last card. It's taken no time at all. So let's see which shall we have to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. We've done that one, haven't we? And we've done you have what it takes to be unstoppable. 
so let me see i like this one i cherish you my true friend i like that one is it that one no where's it gone there we are this is a lovely one Um, it was quite funny when we went to St Martin because there is a bar, anybody who's been on a cruise to St Martin, there is a bar just as you're getting off the ship called Sharkies. And we visited last year and then before that it was two years previous and every time we go the lady recognises my husband. She'll say, I know you. <laughs> you know, like he goes every week, she sees him once a year. It's ama it never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> Um, right, so I want my pink ink pad back. Where have I put it? I've got the grey. Where's the pink gone? There it is. It's hiding. Yeah, Sharky's Bar. I love Sharky's Bar in St Martin. I wish it were there right now. <laughs> oh dear me. This one is lovely. I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. What a lovely, lovely sentiment. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use. I'm not going to change this system because um, I know it works. I know they lay a nice lap, and it's quick and it's easy for me to do. I love it. Brilliant. So all I need really is a stamp set, one set of DSP, and then two punches, and I can create cards all day long um, using the same system and. Um, that's super easy batch making, but when you've got great cardstock, uh, DSP, it helps. Um, and if you're a beginner, it's a really good way to get used to doing um, cards. Just cut the DSP to a standard size and, and layer it on your card front and just add a sentiment. And then when you're more confident, you can step it up with other fancy things, um, die cuts and embellishments and ribbon. But there's nothing wrong with just letting the, the DSP do all the talking. And those are just beautiful. I'm sure you will agree. Um, I hope the light's not too bright. I hope you can see all of those fantastic cards. And I can't wait to send these out. These are going to go out as smiles in the mail. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll leave all of the details over on my blog and I will take photos of each card up close so you can have a good look. And everything that I've used will be over there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.